Hi, Green Lake Dragons. It's Anna, your vocal music teacher. I hope you had a great break. Happy 2021. We did it. Yay. I had a really nice, quiet, relaxing break with Sawyer, my doggy, and Christopher, my husband. And we went on some hikes. We took lots of naps. I played some music, practiced some yoga, and did a lot of reading. It was lovely. I'm so excited to be here with you. It's a new year! Let's begin by taking a couple of deep singing breaths. So sit or stand nice and tall, the tall back. Relax your shoulders. Really feel your body, get into your body. Sometimes closing the eyes can help. We'll inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Don't forget, our goal is when we inhale, we want our lungs to expand. So we want our belly and our chest to expand. And when we exhale, they might get a little smaller. Let's try that with our hands this time. Hands out in front like this. And we'll breathe in and out. Here we go, through the nose. And out. I forgot I told you to exhale through the mouth. Let's try again. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And one more, just like that. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Sometimes it really helps me to calm down when I breathe, when I breathe intentionally, when I breathe mindfully. We've talked about that before. What can really help me is if I look at my hands while I'm breathing and make that shape but pulling my hands further apart, like my, like as if we're picturing our lungs, right? Expanding, filling with air, breathing in and out. Nice. I hope, hopefully your body feels nice and relaxed. And we will start the new year with one of our M&M's warm-ups by some Green Lake students. Hooray! So I'm looking at my special little list here. And we're going to hear from Allison in Miss Smith's class. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. <laughs> That's pretty creative. I like the skiing part and perfect for winter. Hooray! All right. I'll invite you to sing sitting or standing nice and tall. And don't forget your big singing breaths. One, two, Ready, go. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers and breathe. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers. And one more of those. Miss Smith made me ski on my Snickers, I cry. I imagine some of you like to watch the piano while I'm playing the piano, and I just realized when I looked up at my computer that um, you probably couldn't see it super well. Sorry about that. We'll do a few more. Starting on that same note, we're going to continue to sing higher and higher each time we take a breath. And now, Natalie from Miss Moore's class. Miss Moore made me mash my mints. Posture check, sitting tall, deep breaths. One, two, ready, go. Miss Moore made me mash my mints. Miss Moore made me mash my mints.
not the last uh, candy warm up for the day. We're gonna do two more. And now we'll start up high and we'll make our way down low. Say down low in your voice. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna hear from Dahlia. Um, at Dahlia in third grade. And let's see. Oh, this one's about me. <laughs> I forgot. Miss Stewart made me squash my Swedish fish. Oh my goodness, I like that one. Posture check. Big deep breaths. Have fun with it. Here we go. One, two, ready, three. Miss Stewart made me squash my Swedish fish. Oh, that's a tongue twister, all right. Miss Stewart made Squash my Swedish fish. <laughs> Miss Stewart made me squash my Swedish fish. And one more. Miss Stewart made me squash my Swedish fish. I cried. <laughs> Swedish fish. Squash my Swedish fish. Fish. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a tricky one. And <laughs> I can't believe that I was able to say that each time. Okay, one more. One more. So this last one, where did it go? I just had my eye on one and I lost it. Darn it. Where did it go? Um, we're going to do <gasps> from Rowan in Miss Davis's class. Miss Davis made me dive on top of my dented candy. That's going to be a mouthful. So we'll try to fit all those words in. Posture check. Don't forget to relax though when you're up nice and tall. There you go. Deep breaths. One, two, ready. Miss Davis made me dive on top of my dented candy. Oh, so many words. <laughs> comfortable, does it? To dive on top of candy. Probably wouldn't feel very good. I guess unless the candy was in a really deep swimming pool. <laughs> anyway, now it's time to begin to learn a new song. And first I'll invite you to listen as I play and sing the song I Can See Clearly Now by Johnny Nash, who uh, wrote this song in the 1970s. He was an African-American singer-songwriter, and most of the music that he played and wrote was in the style of reggae music. Reggae is a style of music from Jamaica. I chose this song because of the lyrics, the words. Thank you. 
I'm just picturing that sunshiny day in my mind. So I've included the lyrics on Seesaw. If you'd like to read the lyrics or get help reading the lyrics, of course. Um, but I'd like to talk about those lyrics for just a moment um, and read them to you. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Do you know what an obstacle is? Do you know that word? Obstacle. Obstacle. Obstacle just means something that's in your way. So it could mean um, something physical, like an object that's in your way, like a big tree or a hill or a boulder or a pile of laundry. <laughs> um, I always think of, of driving in the car and having to um, swerve around an obstacle, right? Drive around an obstacle if it's in the middle of the road. But an obstacle could also mean something like a problem that comes up in our life. So it doesn't have to be something physical. It doesn't have to be a thing that we can see or hold or touch. It could be um, any kind of problem that arises in our life. The next line is, gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. Wow, so we're getting this pretty amazing picture, right? In our minds, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. I think I can make it now, the pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is the rainbow I've been waiting for. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. This second verse is definitely talking more about feelings, right? The pain is gone. The bad feelings have disappeared. Here's the rainbow I've been waiting for. So I feel like in this verse, when it starts to describe feelings, like painful feelings um, or bad feelings, we get a little bit of um, an idea that maybe the song isn't just about the actual rain and the rain clouds and the sun itself. What do you think? Do you think he's describing the actual rain? Or do you think he's using the rain as a metaphor? Some of our older students might know that to describe feelings or having a bad day. So that's something I want you to think about as we explore this song more and more. I'm gonna play it one more time and hopefully you can hum along or sing along, um, at least maybe um, to part of it. Okay, last time. Thank you.
How else does a song make you feel? What kinds of feelings does it give you? I'd love to hear all about it. Well, my Green Lake Dragons, happy singing, happy new year. I hope you're well. I miss you and I'll see you next time. Bye.